So let's say you need some fancy looking arrows or other graphics to highlight screenshots or screencasts. I've created this small file here using the totally free and cross-platform Inkscape software to help with that. It's just a bunch of arrows and mouse graphics, uh, other, other tools to basically highlight screenshots and other things. So basically you just come here to this URL. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And basically you just, uh, you can either click or you can just right click here on the raw button and click save link as and that will save this file and once you have the Inkscape editor installed it's totally free it's available across platforms too uh, you just uh, click here show in folder and we can open that new file up it'll take just a moment to load up let's close out a few things while that's going ah, here we go We'll let that go. There we go. And this is the file. These are all vector graphics. So basically all of these things are objects that you can edit in various ways. You can just select them and do what you want with them. You can move the mouse around, for example. And uh, basically I've created this file so that you can easily import in your own screenshots. So in this case, you can just select this background here and delete it. And you can then take a screenshot, for instance. Uh, let's say we want to go ahead and get a screenshot. Actually, let's just make it easier and get a screenshot of this right here. We'll take a screenshot there, and I should see that here in just a moment. That's the screenshot I just took. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that right in here into Inkscape. There we go. And that's our screenshot that I took. I'll zoom out here. And basically, it's actually on a layer above all of the other graphics that I have in the background. So you can actually see them by moving this out of the way. But what you can do is just press the end key and that will move it down below all of those other graphics. And once you have that done, let's just go ahead and scroll, um, zoom right back in. Uh, let's say there's something that you want to highlight. So, for example, let's just highlight this, the icon graphic. We can actually take this and resize this. The very first time that you click on an object in Inkscape, you can uh, see these resize controls here. If you click on it one more time, you can actually rotate it. Let's go ahead and undo that. And uh, you can just work with it in, in different ways that way. And you can also uh, edit the control points of objects by double clicking on them. And you can, for instance, with this one, you, this is actually a round corner control. So, so you could give the rectangle there some round corners. And you can move the mouse over to that, for instance. And these arrows, they're actually similar. These first two arrows are a little bit different than this last one. I'll just go for, over these uh, first two first. And uh, basically, these are uh, little vector lines, basically. And so when you double click on them, Oops, when you double click on them right there, you'll see there's it's just a line. It's just two two control points here or vector points that you can move around however you want them to uh, go. And you can basically get your arrows looking exactly the way you need them to go with that. And uh, the text here, of course, you can actually double click and you can edit the text to say whatever ever you want. <laughs> All right. And oh, by the way, these little text bits, I created them using the Indie Flower font, which is a totally free font. It's free for both personal and commercial use through the Google font directory. I'll go ahead and provide a link to that as well. But basically, uh, let's get back to this line. This line right here is a curved line. And actually, this line here could be a curved line as well. Basically, once you uh, double click right here, you can actually move these control points around. And you'll also see these other control points here that you can use to modify the curve. You can also click on the line right here to modify the curve as well. You can get the arrow situated exactly the way you need with that. And this last arrow is actually a little bit different. I actually created this one as a shape. So when you double click on this one, let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more. It actually works a little bit different than those other ones. It's not quite a line or whatnot, but uh, you can actually res reshape it however you need it to. And the reason that this one's actually helpful is because you can actually have a tapered arrow, tapered line, I guess, uh, if you want. Uh, with that. And also these other lines don't work so well with um, 
uh, what's called the stroke setting. Uh, here in Inkscape, uh, every object has um, both a fill value, as you'll see up here, and then a stroke, uh, stroke value. Actually, you'll have a stroke paint color, pattern, gradient, whatever you want, and then a stroke style. So basically the stroke would be the outline and then the fill would be the inside portion. So in this particular case, you could actually, for instance, select a yellow color, select a blue color right there. And then for the stroke style, well, we've got four, four pixels here. We can go ahead and double that out to eight pixels. You can actually see the, um, the, the outside edges of this actually change a bit with that and uh, you can also change the stroke color as well you can uh, change it either from these sections here or you can right click over here and set stroke right there so basically that's how you can select the color there and same thing goes with these uh the text bits you can actually change the colors of those as well uh as the with the arrow the arrow is a little bit different you can actually change the stroke color but if you try and change the actual color of the arrow you'll see it actually skews up a, a bit and it doesn't look quite right uh, same thing though goes for this box over here. You can actually change the stroke color to yellow and whatnot. This mouse arrow is actually the same as this arrow right here. So basically at this point you can actually just uh, configure everything the way you want to. Uh, you can delete the objects that you don't need, get everything looking the way you want them to. And to export you just Click on the screenshot section that you took in the background that we brought in, and you can go up to your file menu and go to export PNG image. And you'll be taken to this section here where you can see that it's set to export the selection, meaning that if we, for example, select this little text area, you'll see this image size change over here in this portion of Inkscape on the PNG export whatever object you happen to select on this selection section the image size will change accordingly so in this particular case let's say we want to export the screenshot but we don't want it in that full size well one of the things we can do is select the whole select everything here and we can hold down the control key and then we can actually resize this to whatever size we want to and we're not really going to lose much um Actually, we're not going to lose any quality at all on these inner elements that are all vector based. The only thing that we'll lose a little bit of quality on is this screenshot right here as we resize that. So let's say we want to go ahead and export this screenshot as this uh, width and this height. Um, this Inkscape gives you a default file name. You can go ahead and export it as that if you want to. You uh, can press the export button right here and then select a file name. Or you can just go ahead and press export right away and that'll take care of the export. And when we do that, we'll go back here to the file. And we'll see this is the file that we exported. And that's it. You've got this uh, nicely decorated screenshot. And basically with Inkscape, you can decorate them uh, the screenshots a whole lot more in a bunch of different ways. I'll try to go through a little bit more in a future tutorial. I just wanted to go through the basics on how to utilize this file. You can also create the arrows and everything else from scratch. I just wanted to provide the easiest path to being able to do that uh, using Escape, which is all totally free. Everything here is totally free. I'll leave information about it in the details. And hope to see you in another video. Take care.